Just like it was at the beginning of the season, Zeb Nolan will now be the starting quarterback moving forward for the Gamecocks as Luke Doty suffered a season-ending foot injury this past weekend against Vanderbilt and will have surgery later on this week. When Marcus Satterfield met with the media on Wednesday, one of the questions I asked him was, what are they doing to be able to accommodate for some of the strengths of this team in comparison to what Satterfield envisioned with using that pro-style offense? Just from a uh, at the line of scrimmage with our quarterbacks, I think we've helped them out a lot more over the last couple of weeks. I implemented some of the stuff I'm sure you see, just looking to the sideline, making sure we're getting in good plays. Uh, I would say that would be the major thing, even though that's not something we do a lot. Uh, we didn't do it at all going into the season. And so that with some just some little communication things with the snap count and how we get the play called and stuff, dealing with uh, crowd noise, I think we've, we've really went less away from the NFL game and more into the college game. It's really take what they give you because there's always, I mean, even at Tennessee, there's a lot of people open. Um, so you got to go through it, uh, trust the guys up front, and, you know, don't eject out of the pocket too quick. Um, I just think that I've, I've done it too, you know, get out of there too quick at practice and you miss a guy when all you got to do is move half a man. And, uh, you know, I think we're going a lot faster than we did, you know, week one and continue to go fast, play fast, but a controlled fast with a lot of great communication. I mean, guys, we played again at Georgia, uh, Neyland Stadium, and now we're going to Kyle Field. They're all three pretty loud environments. So, you know, I think over the last couple of weeks, you've just done a really good job of communicating, and um, especially between the quarterback and the O-line, because it is kind of hard to hear at times. And just we're on communication and taking what they give you. I think we took some steps uh, in the right direction. We just have to finish off drives, and that means just playing smart football, as Coach Beamer talks about, and, and taking care of the ball. Uh, you know, we get down there inside the 10, we fumble, uh, we have an explosive inside the 10, we get a call back for a holding. Uh, so all those little things, just from a, a ball security and fundamental technique standpoint, has to continue to improve. But I thought we did some really good things. Now, the Aggies are 7-0 all-time in this series against the Gamecocks, and if USC wants to be able to have any opportunity to be able to pull off the upset, they're going to have to be able to play some clean football, something they struggled with last week in turning the ball over four times against Vanderbilt and having 10 penalties, with most of those penalties coming on the offensive side of the ball. Reporting from the USC Ops Building, I'm Mike Yuba, Gamecock Central.